Now, chiefs in Wajir County now say that they are living in fear following attacks last night that appeared to target them. Three people were killed by unidentified attackers, and the unknown gunmen stormed into two households, killing the wife of one of the chiefs before attacking their neighbors. Ian Wafula with that story. 9 p.m. Saturday, the family of Yahya Abdi, a local chief in Wajir County, was getting ready to call it a day. But unknown to them, death was lacking in the shadows. Armed men would storm the house in search for Yaya, the chief. He was not home by then. And as though to leave a message for him, they shot his wife. She was the first victim of the night attack. The men would then cross over to the neighbor's house and kill two more people. Two hours later, they would end up at the home of yet another government official, Chief Mohammed Jama. They confronted and threatened him before they took off. His near encounter with death left him petrified and just like the people of his location. Still disturbed and confused, wondering why. Wajia County Commander Samuel Mukindia confirmed the narrative that the attack was targeting chiefs in the area. However, details unmasking the attackers and their intentions are still scanty. The attack comes a month after northeastern leaders had requested the government to arm chiefs in the region, claiming that they are in constant threat and unable to work efficiently. Some of them are in very peripheral places. So we will consolidate all the recommendations that come out of our engagement with the people. We will do what we have to do as a leadership and as county governments on the ground. Wajia, Tanariva, Mandera and Garissa counties remain under curfew. A move residents say has not curbed insecurity in the area. Ian Wafula, KTN.